Look up. It's a boy. <laughs> <laughs> Today is the day we are going to swim between tectonic plates, the only place in the world you can do this. And it's gonna be in the coldest water I have ever swam in, somewhere around 35 degrees. And Car Carol, <laughs> <was probably Carol. laughs> <laughs> and Chelsea's gonna tell us a little bit more about how deep this place is. We're going to be snorkeling between Eurasia and North America. The furthest you can see across is 100 meters, which is the uh, longest recorded visibility distance of anywhere in the world that you can see in this uh, in this water and the furthest you can see down is 42 meters because the water is so cold and fresh the visibility is insane so I'm so excited to check this out this has been on my bucket list for a long time we're excited to show you we'll see you guys down there you ready I know I'm scared I'll be fine I'm gonna have a great time <laughs> I'm terrified of open water so this will be conquering a fear for me I'm but excited. it's gonna be awesome. I'm just excited. It's gonna be us soon. Yes, so cool. Here we go. You ready, Ross? Hell yeah. Step one, the layer, now the dry suit. Chelsea. You're Chelsea? Yes. And then Becky. Becky. This is Brenty's. She's gonna be taking care of us today. Yes. Look up. It's a boy. <laughs> <laughs> and then after that the depth is always changing this is the depth uh, that goes down to 30 and then 42 meters but this is through a cave system we don't see the bottom of we've got the crew in route right now here we go that look like nascar drivers Woo <laughs> All right, we are at the final step here before we go in. Last words? So excited. Way to go, Kelly. Let's do it. Ready to go. <laughs> We're headed in. <laughs> Feels great. Oh my god, it's so weird. Oh my god, this feeling is awesome. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. Oh my god. I made it back. Yeah. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> Oh my god, it feels really good. <laughs> wow, it's like a frog. Guys, we just finished up this 37 degree correction from the beginning, not 34 degrees, but I kid you not, it's just as cold, but it's only right around the face. So guys, what did you think for your experience after after doing this? Oh, it was awesome. The blues, the different shades of blue that you could see were just unbelievable. Yeah, I think I literally just felt weightless. It was so freeing and just so serene. It's really indescribable. Totally recommend it. It was honestly one of the most beautiful things I think we've done all over the world, at least from my opinion. And yeah, after after first like kind of getting over the fear of going directly into 37 degree water, which is just a few degrees above freezing, uh, you know, then your body just kind of gets used to it and you have a dry suit on the whole time. So it feels kind of weird because there's a really small part of your body that's always like directly touching this water, but the rest of your body's at a pretty nice temperature the whole time. So what were your thoughts about it, Chelsea? 
It was amazing. It's something, as I said at the beginning, that's been on my bucket list for a very long time. We did it through Adventure Vikings. You get there and they give you this like, uh, like fleece underlining to go under your dry suit. And then they give you your dry suit, um, which is, you kind of feel like, like a, like it's like an astronaut. <laughs> um, but it was so cool, a little funky to walk in. Uh, but they give you a really detailed briefing about what it's going to feel like, tips to keep your hands warm, um, tips about your snorkel, just uh, they take you, they show you a map of everywhere you're going to go and the different things you can expect to see. Um, so it's super informative, you feel super safe and in really great hands with, with Adventure Vikings. It was amazing, a once in a lifetime experience for sure. All right, now time to go do a little bit of cliff exploration around the national park. Let's go. This is the first waterfall I've been at in Iceland and I'm completely mind blown. Uh, this isn't even one of the most famous uh, waterfalls here, but I mean, literally any waterfall you go to here is gonna be absolutely phenomenal from at least what I've heard about so far, but we're gonna find out more when we do some more visits here. So for our travels, we got this Life Straw water bottle and how it works is the straw is actually a filter so you can get water from any place like this and in Iceland of course we have the nice crystal clear water and you fill up your water bottle and then put the straw in the filter and then you let it sit for about two minutes to get to let the water filter and then you can drink it so this is our first time right now we're going to drink directly out of a waterfall with these to see how good it tastes I mean, it's Iceland, we've already drank some of the water and it tastes delicious, so I'm sure it's going to be great. Let's see here. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, yeah. It literally tastes like normal water. Oh, it tastes like even better than normal town. water. <laughs> oh, this is great. This is great. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.